Simama, wa Kenya wote simama Simama, wewe shuja simama The BBI reggae was officially unveiled at the Bomas of Kenya where leaders and members of the public from across the country have gathered. Among the top-notch leaders who got an opportunity to address the nation was led by President Uhuru Kenyatta with his deputy William Samoy Ruto and the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. My brother Raila Odinga is good at football. So let me try to ask. How fair will be a league where the referee is appointed by teams? And not all the teams, some teams. How, how fair will this league be? Addressing the gatherings, the former Prime Minister said the 2010 Constitution was a ceasefire document and the right time has come for the country as a whole to look at the issues ailing the country. So this document is as a result of very extensive consultation with the people of Kenya. The proposals which have been made here. But as other people have said, it is still work in progress. We need to be, and we have said it must be inclusive, everybody. He later urged the Kenyans to give a humble time to, for the Jubilee Party to complete the Big Four agenda that they promised to the Kenyans. And we, with President Uhuru Kenyatta, when we talked, we said we want to bequeath a better society for the coming generation of our country. <clears throat> it is not about making Uhuru Kenyatta a Prime Minister or a Lodinga a President. And Raila Odinga has never declared, and I want to tell the Standard newspaper, anyway, that he wants to run for presidency in 2022. <laughs> that is not why we brought this. We brought this because we have seen that there are problems in our country, and these problems must be solved by the people of Kenya themselves. We are going to remove this kasumba that has disturbed us. We must deal with this issue of inclusivity so that every single community and section of this country feels that they are part and parcel of this great... The Deputy President William Samoy Ruto stood out with all his muscles and hair, standing and throwing questions to the BBI task force team for failing to add some critical points to the report. That in this proposal, we will have the President with his running mate, Deputy President, they will win uh, or we have candidates, they will win an election, and then the president will appoint the prime minister and the two deputies from the winning coalition. And then we will have the runner-up being the leader of opposition. Now, no problem, it doesn't matter who it is. I, I have no problem, you know. Let us not personalize. There is no problem. <laughs> now, the question, the question I am asking myself, have we sorted out the winner to call question? Oh, is that so? so and finally, after the inauguration, we met with Fatima Gedi, the women rep of Wajia, to give us on her say about the report and how the meeting was. A leader from the northern part of Kenya, is it, do you think BBI is something that is good and giving hand to the people of the region? Exactly. Because you remember when the BBI tax force, they were going around to every region. We, the people from Rodista, we were given an opportunity to express and give our views. And in terms of even historical injustices, or even the things that are ailing as a region, we gave a document, and I am sure 100% that this document that was launched today is the beginning of a, of a conversation. And we, it's not final, by the way. We have a conversation to amend, to still uh, put our input. But from the region we come from, the issues of uh, divisive elections, it is there with us. We are so tribal, we are so divided in terms of clan, and that is exactly 
And you, you, you had the, what His Excellency the President said. We went a Kenya that is Kenya, not a, you become. I don't know. You come from one community or the other, and that is what we have the problems from all this time. People are so divided. Our elections are about which clan is bigger than the other, and I think it's something that we should learn from here. No, this time that there will be there will be an additional 38 constituencies. So there were some constituents in Northeastern which missed the addition during the 2009 uh, IEBC election boundary review. So there will be some those constituents which never got, which were not split now, they will be split. And we are expecting to get some two, two to three additional constituents in Northeastern. As the leaders and members of the public across the country have converged themselves at the Bomas of Kenya for the unveiling of the Building Bridges Initiative, the question that has now remained is whether the Building Bridges Initiative is a grip of water or force for good. Yusuf Mahatabdi, Alpha TV, Nairobi.